What's going on YouTube? Flame Short Cat and Status Quo, and here I am again, uh, finishing up with this uh, little vlog series. Um, so in this vlog, I'm going to be talking about AGL Knoxville 8, which I think is the uh, one that we are teaming with Neighbor, Best Man, and Enable. So, uh, like in my last uh, vlog, just discussing, uh, I said that at first we uh, played with uh, Snakebite and uh, Royal 2. Uh, it didn't really work out. Uh, it was too much uh, trying to catch up. Uh, great guys. Uh, it was just bad circumstances in the situation we were in. So uh, we ended up not teaming for that event. And uh, Royal 2 now doesn't play Halo. And uh, Snakebite is actually on Wrecking him to this, uh, uh, after this event, which is good for him. Um, so going into this event, it is me, Enable, Neighbor, and Bestman, like I said. We, uh, we actually get some pretty good practice in. Um, neighbor and best man were actually really cool to team with uh two grown-ups uh mature people that uh you wouldn't expect since our rivalry back in the old days in halo 3 of sq and td but it's pretty cool team with them uh this was definitely a top three troll team of all time you got a neighbor neighbor and best man on the team so you're gonna see a lot of trolling going on i'm not gonna lie neighbor did troll me uh in the in the game lobbies uh once or twice pretty good i had to uh, i had to admit he got me in some of his uh classic moves um but yeah this team was fun to play with uh we always thought that uh we talk about it now uh but never really thought i never really thought about it back in the halo three days but uh we always decided that like if i was ever on td with mason and a b-man or if me ian almost teamed with uh, a, a like a td combination when we were uh teaming with them in this uh h4 event that we probably would have been nasty at Halo 3. Uh, so this team was really a cool team to uh, reminisce with about the past because of all the uh, classic Halo 3 matchups and stuff like that. But going into the event now, um, we go into the event, we get good practice. Uh, we end up playing, I forget the first team we played, but we beat them. And the second team we play is uh, Trey Tri, Munoz, and I forget their third, but their fourth was the Elamite Warrior because Lifestyle ended up not showing up to the event. Um... We were expecting to 3-0 them. Uh, I said in a pre-game interview that uh, probably a 3-0, but, you know, if it goes to 3-2 and we still win, you know, that's all that matters. And um, so uh, we actually end up uh, beating them 3-2 in two crazy Slayer games that we won. Games 2 and 5 were, I th believe both of them might have been 50-49s, which, which is insane. But... um that was that, and then we end up going into the next series, which is against Requiem for top three in winner's bracket, and uh, we actually beat them 3-2 as well. I went off uh, pretty much that entire series besides game one, which was Dispatch Flag. Uh, they pretty much shut us down. I couldn't move at all, uh, but for the remainder of the series, uh, for both Slayer games, I was going off. Uh, I got a triple kill to win the game 50-48 or 50-47, which was pretty cool, and then... Uh, you know, we're going into Sunday pretty feeling confident. Uh, we hear that we are playing um, Infamous, I believe their team name, because they actually end up 3 one or 3 uh Ambush. Uh, it's the first event Ambush loses a series, and uh, which was crazy. So uh, we go into Sunday playing them and uh, just weren't on top of our game. Uh, I wish we kind of played them on Saturday. I think we were playing a lot better on Saturday. And... Uh, we end up getting 3 0 by them. And then from there, uh, we play. Rakim makes it out and beats Ambush as well in loser brackets. So we play Rakim now up uh, 3 2. And we end up losing 6 4. Uh, their teamwork was um, was just freaking, you know, was on point. Uh, and they were helping each other out perfectly. So we end up getting third, which was crazy. A lot of people didn't even expect us probably to get top six with that roster. I mean, to all the fans probably were like oh this team's solid but uh for a lot of like the p analysts uh we probably did not get a high prediction just because of uh who we are and um i choke here for a kill tackler by the way because i freaking suck but uh so we ended up getting third which was cool uh doing that uh because of that placing as well uh we, all four of us got invited to the global championships which uh, ace ended up taking if you guys all watch so that was pretty cool and uh really enjoyed that and then, uh, so now, uh, I have been traveling and working on the Prima Games Battlefield 4 strategy guide. Uh, it's been fun. I've been able to play the game before anyone else. Uh, and just really working, uh, hard with my team, which is me, Strongside, Walshie, and Alumni, 
And uh, we've been working really hard on uh, producing the best content for the strategy guide. Uh, we got great reviews on our Halo 4 strategy guide, which we were happy. And uh, But we all knew that we could have definitely uh, turned it up a notch and uh, produced even better content. And so that's what we've been doing. So uh, if you guys are following me on Twitter, uh, FLamesRedSQ, you know that uh, I'm all over the place. I'm flying from Jersey to Kentucky, Kentucky to L.A., L.A. to Kentucky, Kentucky to L.A., back to Kentucky... Jersey, Seattle, Kentucky, LA, I'm all over the place, and mostly going to West Coast, so it's always crazy, uh, six-hour flights and stuff, so it's been a, it's been a hectic, hectic um, summer for me, uh, especially a hectic uh, month of August, it's been flying a lot, this is why this uh, little series took a while for us to do, but uh, finally finishing up, uh, I'm going to have one more vlog follow after this, uh, pretty much uh, just saying... Uh, you know, my status updated and stuff like that, what I'll be doing for Indy, and uh, yaddy yaddy, but, uh, so this game's about to come to the end, uh, I couldn't ha I had no gameplay with uh, Neighbor and Bestman, unfortunately, I guess I never ended up saving any, but uh, this is just a fun little Team Snipers game I had, uh, you guys saw that overkill I had, uh, reason I randomly have a Snipers game is, uh, when at Dursky's house, um, the thing was to uh, play Team Snipers, uh, it clicked in my head, hey, you should probably just play Team Snipers, because I've seen Dursky play it a lot, and it's like, it'll probably actually increase your, uh, you know, your snipes, so I ended up uh, playing Team Snipers every here and there, and it definitely helped my sniping, definitely helped my no-scoping, because I would try to no-scope in a lot of the games, so it helped that a lot, but, um, so that's where we are today, guys, after AGL Knoxville, which was the last event, a Halo event that I attended, I skipped out on the Atlanta one, because I had to go out to California to do, uh, all that, uh, Prima game stuff, and, uh, so that's where I am today. Again, I'm going to have one more vlog uh, updating on about Indy. Uh, I'll try to come out with that sometime this week, and if it's not this week, next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed all the updates and what has been going on through uh, each event. Uh, Twitter's at FlamesWordSQ. Uh, please uh, like, share, and uh, comment anything you guys have. It uh, helps a lot, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, still continuing and supporting me throughout my uh, many years of gaming. So until the next video, guys, peace out.